With your first news at 10 Sports, here's Jeff Roberts. The Bismarck Larks have stayed afloat through the first two weeks of the 2023 season. At 6-6, six and six, the Larks are right in the middle of the Great Plains West. They're tied with the Minnesota Mud Puppies at third place and started a four-game series with the Pups tonight. Going into the day, both teams are three games back of first place. Minnesota wasted no time in the first, already up a run. Luke Lusky on winds on one to left field. The South Dakota State Jackrabbit homers with two runners on base to make it 4 nothing. They lead up 5 nothing after the first and 8 nothing after the away half of the second. In the bottom of the second, Lars gets some air under their wings. Dylan Perry singles to right. Trenton Rowan, Dylan Getz come in to score. This started a beginning for Bismarck. Still down six runs. Bismarck needed something, so Perry stayed aggressive. He takes off for second. He ended up scoring Bismarck's fourth run of the second inning. The Larks tied at 11 in the sixth, but the Mud Puppies poured it on in the ninth to win game one of the series. In their first game of the summer, the Bismarck Governors scored 15 times and only allowed one run. They ended up splitting day one at the border battle and had the chance to take two of three in the round robin portion with a win earlier this afternoon. This was the third of six games scheduled for Saturday. Bottom of one, Governors would produce runs early. Tommy Kralik goes the other way into left field for a single with one out in the opening inning. Bismarck had a runner on base. Next up is Michael Fogelin, considered to be one of the best baseball players in the state. He shows why. Clobbers this one to right field. It'll bang against the wall. Kralik scores from first, and it's 1-0. Noah Riedinger, he followed Fogelin on third. It's going to be a productive out. Out number one. Uh, number two produces run number two. The Govs had the early advantage. Reedinger, fresh off his first season at BSC, showed off a little leather. A hard hit ball down the line is gloved. He steps on first. A fast start earns Bismarck a 6-3 win and winning two of three in the round robin. Minot played two this morning. The second was pretty dramatic. Tied at seven in the ninth after the Cubs had the go-ahead runner 90 feet away. Adam Rodocker slams the door on their chance. Vistas would end, uh, then have an opportunity to win it in the bottom of the ninth. Leading off the home half is Kellen Burke. He's able to find a hole between third and short. With no outs, the game-winning run is on the base paths. Two batters later, one out with Burke still on first. Burke gets aggressive, takes off for second. He slides in safely. He's in scoring position with just one out in the inning. After the second out of the inning with two strikes, Hunter Horner puts one into play. It drops to center field. There's going to be a play at the plate. The throw is on time, but Burke slides in safely. Eight to seven the final. It's a two extra innings, but Minot gets the dramatic win. Another border battle score. The hosts come from behind to beat Rapid City in the nightcap. Twins played their second of three in Toronto this afternoon. A win clinches the series. A slow start for Minnesota, only three hits in the first six innings. In the meantime, here's an RBI single from Vlad Jr. This was the second of three unanswered runs to open the scoring between both sides. It wasn't until the seventh when the Twins showed some life. Trevor Larnick tees off on one of the deepest part of the park. It just barely squeaks over the fence, but it counts. Twins are only down two. To the eighth, that was where things really changed. Bases loaded. Carlos Correa, he's the man you want up. Two of the most glorious words in baseball, grand slam. One swing gives Minnesota a 5-3 lead. Same innings. Twins would get a couple more runners on. This time it's Max Kepler. He sends it to the bullpen in right field. A three-run bomb put the Twins up 8-3. Seven across in the inning. 9-4 to the final. Twins will go for the sweep tomorrow. And that is some gorgeous weather it looks like Toronto is having. They have one of those retractable roofs where yesterday it was closed oh. and today it's open. You see the sunshine. I'm glad we're having some of that weather as well. Oh, yeah, that's fancy. And lots of excited stuff going oh, on yeah. in the world of baseball. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. All right, thanks, Jeff. We'll be right back after this.